Hello and welcome everyone. I am Dr. Puru Dhawan and as always I am here with all the important information related to the kidney disease and its treatment. Today I will tell you about the five stages of chronic kidney disease. Yes, in medical terms we have categorized CKD into five stages depending upon its severity. I am sure with this video all your doubts related to the different stages of CKD will be sorted. So chronic kidney disease basically refer to a condition of a gradual loss of kidney function over time. We all know our kidney are responsible to filter our blood and exclude out all the waste material and toxic substance from the body. But you may not know our kidney does this function 40 times in a day. Yes, 40 times. Not just this, but there are many other essential functions which kidney performs in our body. Now imagine. What will happen if our kidney stops working or reduce its functions? Any kidney related disorder that affects the function of our kidney and increases the risk of the failure comes under CKD. And the most initial symptoms are less energy, loss of appetite, muscle cramps, swelling in feet and urge to urinate more during night, itchy skin and etc etc. Now you guys need to understand that CKD is a very silent disease in most cases. So you don't have to overlook such symptoms in your body and early detection can prevent the progression of the disease and reduce the risk of kidney failure. As I said earlier, I will tell you about the five stages of CKD. Now let's get there. Stage one of CKD refers to a stage where your GFR glomerular filtration rate is above 90 ml per minute and the stage two where it shows your GFR between 60 to 89 ml per minute. Both these stages usually do not lead to much symptoms. In most cases, a patient may not feel any changes in their routine or their health. But your kidney is losing its ability to filter your blood gradually. As people do not pay much attention to these symptoms, the disease mostly remain unnoticed in these stages. This become an important reason why the patient can't get the right treatment on time. Also, patients remain unaware of essential changes they should make in their diet and lifestyle to stop the growth of this disease. And the steady loss of kidney function leads your disease to stage 3. Stage 3 called the moderate stage where your GFR level gets to 30 to 59 ml per minute. At this stage, you are likely to observe a few symptoms like edema, nausea, weakness, anemia. These are the few symptoms commonly observed during this stage. You may get tense and too stressed when you know about your kidney disease. But believe me, you need not to panic. Rather, you should consult a specialist or a nephrologist as soon as possible. You should start a good treatment with essentially required changes in your diet. Which type of treatment I will tell you later after explaining 4th and 5th stages. Now coming to the stage 4, it is a severe stage where the GFR rate is below 30 ml per minute. Yes, below 30. At this stage, a patient may not have any other option but to undergo dialysis. As your kidney gets dysfunctional and are unable to support your health. Talking of dialysis, it is a toxic procedure that needs to be performed twice or thrice a week depending upon the health and type of dialysis. Although it is a life saving procedure, but we know how painful it is for the patient, both physically and mentally. Dialysis become only option here because at this stage, your creatinine level and urea also gets too high. Any negligence in your treatment at this stage can cost you your life. Now talking about stage 5, stage 5 is the end stage chronic kidney disease where GFR rate falls below 30 ml per minute. In this grave situation, a patient will be immediately taken for dialysis as the kidney gets acutely dysfunctional and artificial kidney called the dialyzer is used as an alternative to filter the, your blood and remove all the waste milk from the body and if your body doesn't show much improvement after a certain time doctor may suggest you for transplant so these were the few stages of chronic kidney disease as i told you earlier in this video i will tell you about what is the right treatment of kidney disease so with my experience in the medical sector i can safely say that herbal treatment 
is one of the best treatment for chronic kidney disease. Just because modern doctors have only two options, dialysis and transplant, we think that there is no better treatment than these two. But it's not true. A healthy lifestyle and planned nutritious diet can protect your kidney and help in maintaining their good health. Diet is the most primary thing at this stage. Sodium, potassium and phosphorus should be strictly eliminated from your diet. Moreover, you should have a strict renal diet chart to keep your health well. I will make a detailed video on the kidney patient diet soon. Till then, I would advise you to keep your diet intact and healthy. Moreover, monitor your blood pressure and sugar levels regularly. To know more about kidney problems and their cure, you can directly call on the number flashing on your screen. You can also book an appointment on the same number. Thank you for watching. Namaste.